السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear Grade 5 students Hello again I am Ahmed Al-Farahati and I wish you all the best of everything Today inshallah we will study Unit 5 Technology Lesson 7 Please open your class book to page 56 this page what are the aims of this lesson let's check unit 5 technology lesson 7 class book pages 56 and 57 activities 1 2 3 4 and 5 the aims in this lesson students as well Talk about houses of the future. Read the text and answer questions. Rewrite sentences using contracted forms. Fill in missing apostrophes in words. Let's go to page 56 of your class book. Unit 5 Writing Section Activity 1 Read, Think and Speak Read the question below and the four people's answers. Do you agree with them? Talk about them with your group. This is the question. What kind of house would you like in the future? Let's read the answers. Yes. I want a house with a robot that does all the cooking. I want a house that clean itself I want a house where I can watch football in every room I want a house where I can control everything with my voice dear students if you look at this word want yes it means need I need I want and you are asked here to differentiate between these two words want and this word want which is the negative of will okay so take care these are two different words want want now do you agree with these answers can you answer this question yes you can give more ideas and your ideas can be technology or non-technology related. You can say, I want a house with a lovely garden. Or you can say, I want a house with lots of robots. You can give your ideas as you like. Let's look at activity two. Read, think, and answer. Read the text below, answer the questions underneath. 3D food printers 3D printers can print many things Homes of the future will have 3D food printers in their kitchens Yes, that's right Machines to print your food Do you ever feel hungry but you don't have time to cook a meal? The 3D food printer will print pizzas, burgers and sweet foods like biscuits and cakes you choose what kind of meal you want then you select it by pressing a button on the touch screen on the front next you add the ingredients and press print the machine will prepare your food and print it it will be ready to eat straight away do you think we will have 3D food printers in the future. Would you like to have a 3D food printer? Why or why not? If you say yes, you are asked to give a reason. And if you say no, you are asked also to give a reason. Do you think that food printers will make people lazy? Try to answer these questions. I will write my answers here. Okay. Would you like to have a 3D food printer? I will say yes. Why? Because I won't have time to cook a meal. 
Do you think that food printers will make people lazy? Yes, I think so. Let's go to page 57. Dear students, you know that in the writing section of each unit, we have this section, spelling and punctuation, which focuses on spelling, punctuation, or on both of them. Yes, contractions and apostrophes. Sometimes when we speak in English, we make words shorter and leave letters out. We call these shorter words contractions. When we write these words, we use an apostrophe to show where letters are missing. Examples are not, aren't, is not, isn't, I will, I'll, I would, I'd, cannot, can't, and some people pronounce it can't. But the British pronunciation is can't, did not, didn't, will not, won't, I would not, I wouldn't. You understand that? In English we can leave letters out in order to make words shorter and put apostrophes instead. Let's look at activity 3. Think and write. Put the missing apostrophes into the correct places in the words below. You are asked to write the missing apostrophes. Take your time to do this, then come back in order to check your answers. Hello again. Yes, here I have. We have an apostrophe here. Ayed, we have an apostrophe here. Shiz. We have an apostrophe here. Hasn't. Yes, we have an apostrophe here. Thieve. Yes, put an apostrophe here. Haven't. The missing apostrophe is here. Thank you. Activity 4. Write. Find the verbs in the sentences below. Rewrite the sentences in your exercise book. Change each verb into its short form with an apostrophe. 1. In the past, people did not have electricity. 2. There were not any roads. 3. In the future, children will not go to school. 4. He would like to be an astronaut. 5. Machines cannot do everything for us. Here you are asked to find the verbs in these sentences and underline them. Then write the short forms instead. You are asked to write the sentences in your exercise book. Take your time to do this, then come back to check your answers. Hello again. I will underline the verbs in these sentences, then I will write the short forms. 1. Yes. Did not. 2. We are not. 3. Will not go. I have here will not. 4. Would like. 5. Cannot. These are the verbs that you are asked to write their short forms. Now, I will write the short forms and you are asked to rewrite the sentences in your exercise book. But I will write here the short forms. Yes, the short form here is didn't. And here, weren't. Here, won't. And here, he'd like. Yes, you can write the whole sentence. And here, can't. Thank you. Activity 5. Find and write. 
Read the text in activity 2 again. Write a list of the adjectives and the verbs in the future tense. You are asked to read the text in activity 2 again. And write the adjectives and the verbs in the future tense like the examples here. Yes, we have adjectives, hungry. Verbs in the future tense will prepare. So you are asked to read this again and write the adjectives and the verbs in the future tense. Take your time to do the task, then come back to check your answers. Hello again. I'll write all the adjectives here. Yes, we have hungry as an example. Then we have many. Right. Ready. And also we have sweet. And I write the verb is in the future tense here. We have will prepare as an example. And we have will print. Will have. And will be. By this we've achieved the aims of this lesson. Thank you for following me. Goodbye.